Hey folks, this is Rondell. Um, on this video we're going to go over how to write a good blog post. Um, if you have questions about how to blog, you're new to blogging, um, you definitely want to watch this video. Alright? Okay. Now the first question you want to ask yourself is, is this going to be a speed blog? or is it going to be an SEO blog? Now a speed blog is simply like a blog you're just putting it up almost f just for the sake of blogging you know you're just trying to get some content out there and you really don't have a lot of time on your hands to really write a well thought out blog post so what you want to do is you want to try and find some trending topics you can go to trends at google.com and find what's trending on google dot, uh, on google.com and blog about that and then uh, another simple way of speed blogging is simply to, you know, um, take some videos from YouTube or something like that and then inject a few paragraphs here and there in between the content just to, you know, take up a little bit of space on the page so you're not just leaving a blank page. And then at the end of your blog, you want to leave a call to action. And your call to action would be uh, leaving a button or uh, an opt-in form for people to take another step for them to learn about what it is that you do what you have to offer okay so now if it's an SEO blog this is a different beast all in itself because if it's an SEO blog then you obviously want to get this content to show up on the search engines long term and in order to do that you're gonna have to do a whole lot of different on-page and off-page optimization tricks to get that to show up on the on the search engines okay now moving back real quick now if it is an SEO blog we're not really going to get into the, the the tactics of an SEO blog in this particular video um, but I do have content out there that you can find about SEO blogs uh, I may put a link underneath this video in the description area where you can learn more about SEO blogs and stuff like that or I'll leave a link for you at the end <clears throat> excuse me alright so does it engage their attention now that's something very crucial because if you're writing something and it's boring to the person why would they keep reading it you know they don't have a reason to read your content if they find your content to be boring so you definitely want to make sure that it has their attention from the very beginning okay now what do your w readers want to know that's something else that you need to keep in mind prior to writing your blog post now if you're writing a blog post and you have some meaning behind the blog post it's not like a speed blog and your even if it is a speed blog you know the 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 moral to the story is what do they want you know do they want to be entertained do they want uh, to learn something do they want inspiration do they want advice or are they simply looking for motivation you know all of these are key factors you need to you really need to know what your readers want when they come to read your blog post because if you know what they want that's the way that you get their attention and by and when you do that you also want to use attention getting words now one thing you want to refrain from is when you're blogging you want to talk about you and your ten times more than you want to talk about I and me because they don't care about you they they care about themselves which would be you and your you know not 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 you but them you know what I mean but seriously you don't want to talk about yourself too much in your blog posts there's a lot of people a lot of marketers out there who they uh there's nothing wrong with showing proof of your results in your business but when you do it all the time it, it becomes to see it starts to become narcissistic and people start to think a certain type of way about you and that you know it, it just can be negative to focus on yourself so focus more on what you're gonna do for them now what questions do they have uh, we kinda just went over that but whatever the questions that they have once you um, ascertain the questions that they have, you answer those questions in that blog post, you know, and make it your goal to find out what it is that they want to know. Because, like I said, we've, I've, I don't want to sound redundant here, but this is really important for you to understand that in order for you to be able to 
in order for you to be able to to serve them the best way that you possibly can you need to make it a goal to find out what it is that they want to know and then that's why we went over the previous slide here uh, what do they want why are they on your blog are they there for these reasons for information you know I left that one out do they want information but you just find out what they want to know and answer their questions now the better informed that your readers are from reading your content the more you are uh, positioned as an expert now let me read that again the better informed your readers are from reading your content the more you are positioned as an expert one more time the better informed readers are from reading your content the more you are positioned as an expert now why did I read that three times the, re the reason I read that to you three times is for it to be ingrained in your mind because if you can inform your readers and they feel like you've done them a service by providing them content that they can take action on that can make their lives better that can uh, assist them in doing whatever it is that they want to do then now you've built some rapport with this person you do you position yourself as someone who they can look up to as an authority now once you get that type of status that's when people will start to be interested in joining you in different things that you do whether it be internet marketing or network marketing affiliate programs it doesn't really matter but once they know that you are the go-to person to get their questions answered they feel like it only makes sense for them to join you rather than working with someone else so almost finished here repetition is the mother of skill if you did not know that now you know uh, whatever you do and you do it over and over and over and over and you just do it and you do it and you drill it home you it becomes uh, a skill because in the beginning it's not necessarily skillful what you're doing it's just like humdrum uh, something that you're trying out but for it for example like when you make videos like this uh, you may sound stupid when you first start making videos I did you know but I've made hundreds of videos since I first got online so as time goes on you know you start to articulate yourself differently you start to come across differently to the end user to the person that's reading or watching what it is that you're presenting and they can feel that you are knowledgeable on the subject that you're talking about that's what happens when you when you drill home uh, when you hone your craft on whatever it is that you're trying to master because you want to be a master you don't want to be a jack of all trades and a master of none you want to be a master of whatever it is that you do and then once you master something you move on to to, to, to attempt to master something else but there's so many people on the internet right now that are in 15 different companies right now and they they use a bunch of different marketing methods and what have you but the people that are like ultra successful on the internet it seems to me from my study that the people that are immensely successful on the internet they have uh, they have mastered certain uh, strategies of marketing their businesses that that they focus on those things alone so repetition is the mother of all skill if you want to be the best blog writer write a thousand blogs this year it's only uh, March so how many that's you have about 10 months left write a hundred blog posts or a hundred articles a month for the rest of this year I guarantee you you will be one of the best blog writers there is on the entire internet if you write a thousand blog posts from now until the end of 2013 so the more blogs that you write the better you will inevitably become I just said that and when you become a master of providing solutions to the problems that your readers have you'll begin to see magical things take place in your business I'll say that again when you become a master of providing solutions to the problems that your readers have you will begin to met to see magical things take place in your business and you don't have to write a book you don't have to write them some long drawn out uh, uh, manuscript with a bunch of big words and trying to sound intelligent if that's not the way you talk 
you know just be yourself when you write and for the most part you should try and keep your blog post short my goal is to always keep my blogs at least 500 words or less unless it's like a subject that needs to be touched on where you might go a thousand maybe two thousand words on your post but for the most part like I said 500 words is is good enough so don't write them a book and that's pretty much it keep your blog short and concise and just stick to the point and if you can do these things you'll easily be portrayed as an expert and be able to keep your readers engaged now that's what you ultimately want when you write blog posts is to keep your readers engaged keep them on the page and get as many calls to action in your content as possible at least three at least three calls to action should be in your content giving them an opportunity to click here to learn more opt in here place your email here to get more information to see this video to get this PDF you know whatever it is you just need to have that ingrained in there and don't be afraid to ask people for what it is that you want if you want people to put their email into your form then tell them in your content say click here and put your email in this form you know you can't beat around the bush and try and be a sneak a sneak salesman because regardless of what you think internet marketing is just another form of sales regardless of whether or not you're going door to door or wearing suits and all that stuff so that's pretty much it I didn't want to drag this on super long but if you guys want to know more about how to become a masterful blogger go to howsimpleisthis.com and you can get as much information as you need to know about SEO blogging, speed blogging, you get information on how to do videos properly, how to master your autoresponder, how to sign people up in the different programs that you're in simply by sending out emails. I mean, anything that you truly want to know about internet marketing is on the other side of this link right here. So either type this website in into your you are uh, into your uh, address bar or click the link below this video and click on that link right now and go and learn more about how to do this and you can make money blogging and then you can change your entire life if you just take action on the things that we covered in this video and what you'll learn when you go to howsimpleisthis.com